Okay, I'm at uh, 74 uh, Ocean Palm Villa. Uh, this is an end unit, which is nice. Okay, in these units you enter through the garage. I don't think the car comes with the property. Um, they have done a little bit of carpeting in here to make it uh, a little bit more comfortable. Washer and dryer, obviously, are in the garage in these units. Very pleasant and bright. Okay, inside the unit, uh, the whole first floor is tile has been updated. Uh, bathrooms are not um, too updated, but in very good condition. As we move through to the kitchen, I like a couple things they've done here. They have accessed the space under the stairs for storage, and you'll notice they built in the refrigerator there. Uh, took down uh, some low-hanging cabinets, which we see in many of these units, to open up the um, otherwise galley kitchen into the living area. Appliances have been replaced, as have the cabinets, nice Bosch dishwasher, decorative inlay in the tile, really all in very good condition. The countertops here are granite uh, tile. Walk into the main living area, again, um, all tile floors, room is clean, and if we look out to the back, your view of the intracoastal waterway. Um, the land on the other side of the intercoastal here, incidentally, is preserved, uh, so it will always look like this. Both of the bedrooms are on the second floor. This would be the master, although they share uh, a bathroom here in the master. One of the closets actually does have a vanity uh, in it with a nice full-size mirror and a makeup station. This is the upstairs bathroom. Again, uh, maybe a little dated, but also in excellent condition. Okay, and this is the spare bedroom, a little bit smaller than the master. Uh, you're looking out here on your roof of your garage uh, and then to undeveloped land across the way.